friends, Robin here with Natman and Robin. Welcome to the channel where I like to inspire, encourage, and include you in packing Operation Christmas Child shoeboxes year round. It has been a crazy week here in Texas, um, or at least in the DFW where I live. It's been all icy. We got iced in this year and Matt and I have been working from home and using the fireplace and hanging out with our pets. And I think the pets are like, okay, we're done. Y'all can go back to work now. <laughs> They're getting a little stir crazy with us. So, um, I have been hoarding some gifts from you guys and I thought today would be a perfect day to just sit down with my friends, drink some water and, I should be having hot chocolate really because it's so icy and frozen out there but it is just water and open up some gifts so I believe um, some of these are from my Amazon wish list but I know this one is a special gift from our friend Melody so I can't wait to open these with you guys all right here is whoop, oh gosh gonna have an av avalanche let me just push those out of the way here is our first one. It is partially opened and I did peek. So I think I know what these are, but I don't know who they're from. Bella. Okay, let's see. Here is a note. Okay, yeah. There's the note. Oh, it just says from a YouTube subscriber. So you know who you are and thank you so much. I hope that you're watching today. But I think these are our multi-click pins. I love these so much. First of all, they're just fun. They're fun to use. But second of all, um, I think that they're a little bit higher quality than some of the other pins that I get to put in there. And it's more compact, right? So like this one pin comes with four different colors as opposed to having to put four different pins in the box. So this one's adorable. It has a little pink. Um, I don't know, plastic on there to kind of give it some fun. But the colors are green and black and red and blue, and I just love it. I know you've seen these, I know you know how they work, but you click one color down and you write with that, and then when you're ready for a new one, you just click that new color. And I love them so much. These, I used to get these at Daiso all the time. They came in a pack of three for $1.50, and I loved it, but I haven't seen those in years. So this is definitely the best way to get them that I've found is online. I will link these below. They're from Amazon, so thank you so much. Um, you know who you are. I don't, but that's even, that's fine. That's great. Um, this came from your heart, and I cannot wait to include these in <coughs> boxes this year. I love them so much. Thank you for your contribution. Uh, these are gonna make, let's see, how many are there? 24 kiddos, so, so happy. Thank you for that. Um, next, this one has not been opened, so I don't know. It's a box. I think I might know. Just based on what is on my Amazon wish list, I'm guessing these are Band-Aids. Let's see. Okay, here's some paper. Pull out the paper first. It's from Izzy, thank you Izzy. Izzy loves to give to our boxes. Yes it is! These are these um, so fun, um, 100 fun Tech Deck Band-Aids and I love this because um, my Walmart had those Tech Deck skateboards on sale for $4 so I picked them up. So for $4 I got 10 really high quality mini skateboards and these will look so cute with them. Let's see here. I don't know if you can really see. They look like little mini skateboards. Can you tell? They're adorable. So I can't wait to put these with those um, mini skateboards. How fun. Um, and I'm going to combine these for my packing party to make little hygiene kits for the boys. Love it. Thank you, Izzy. These are so great. Okay, next is this one. This one's pretty flat. Can't tell, it's about this big, about the size of my hand. I can't tell what it is. 
Let me see if there's paper in here. It just says, a gift for you. So, I'm not exactly sure who they're from. Okay, I can feel it. Oh, maybe stickers? Are these stickers? Hmm. They're not stickers. Let's see. This is really cute. Maybe it's jewelry? Oh, it is. These are so pretty. Oh, there's two sets in here. That's so fun. Okay, I'm going to open this up and show you guys so you can see them as well as my eyes are seeing them. <gasps> These are perfect. Look, they're little whales. I don't know if you guys know, I'm collecting for a whale box inspired by my mom. Her favorite animals are whales. We have been together to see the whales now twice, which is such an amazing blessing. We went in Alaska on a cruise and then we saw them again in Puerto Vallarta, um, also on a cruise. So this is for that box. I love them, they're so cute. And then it says on here, bonus gift. So this is just a little bonus of some really colorful, cute bird earrings. I love it. Thank you, I wish I knew who this was from. It just says a gift for you. It doesn't say who, but thank you so much. If you want me to know who you are, just leave a comment below and um, I will thank you personally because this is adorable. I love it. All right. Um, this one is next and this one is from Melody. Look how cute she is. Have a glorious day. Isn't that great? She did give me a heads up so I do think I know what's in here. Um, last year she made us some really cute pillowcase dresses and that was her first year ever to do sewing. And so this will be her second year sewing and last year they were amazing. So I can't even, you know, guess how great these are gonna be now that she has a whole year under her belt of this fun hobby. Uh, maybe that will help. These things are so closed so well and I didn't open it. Um, before. Ooh. I was also really gentle because I didn't want to break anything that's in the actual box. Oh my goodness. I can I can see things. Oof. There's more than just pillowcase dresses in here, but this is what I can see. Yay! Look at these fun slap bracelets. These are so cute. Little mermaids and hearts. Oh, I wonder where these are from. More hearts. If I had to guess, um, I've seen the um, Oriental Trading Slap bracelets before, but I've never seen these. So if I had to guess where these are from, my guess would be from um, Raymond Geddes or maybe even Timu, you know, with all the great things they have on there now. But these are just so fun. Look at this one. It has a whale on it. Yay. I love it. Okay. Getting distracted here. So many cute things. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at this pocket. It's another frozen dress. So great. This is so perfect. I love it. It has lace on it. So fun, I am already, I think we always are collecting things for frozen boxes. There's so many little girl things that go on clearance that are frozen themed that it makes a frozen box a little bit easier to do every year. So that's a good tip. If you're just starting um, and you want to do a theme, you don't have to do a theme. Anything can go in a box. Um, but if you are like me and your brain works um, in categories, themes are easier for me. Frozen is the easiest one to start, I think. Frozen or um, I see a lot of Blue's Clues and I see a lot of Baby Shark and I see a lot of Paw Patrol. Those are just some ideas of themes that are easier that you see around a lot. The next thing, oh, see, look, <gasps> Baby Shark. I love this. This is so cute. Just exactly what I was saying. This is a really good place to start. I love these. I bet... If I'm guessing, I bet that this came from um, 
Dollar General because I see this brand without the straw there from time to time, so I'm just guessing. Um, but this is so cute. I do love the ones without the straw and with the flip top um, to drink out of. And the ones, this is a perfect example, ones with the big opening because you can always fit more in here and it's easier for the child to get it out as well. So this is the perfect um, little water bottle to go in a box. The only thing I foresee being a challenge with this one, which isn't even a challenge, is sometimes the ones with handles or loops. It's hard to find a place in the box for the loop, but this one is small and compact and I'm sure it's going to fit in a box perfectly. Oh, ooh, okay. Look at this hat! Oh my gosh, it goes with that baby shark! So cute, it has like a little fin. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. Thank you so much for that cute little hat. Oh, sock monkeys. Man, she really went out, all out on her fabric this year. These are little sock monkeys. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. I've always been tempted to make a sock monkey and I tell myself I'm gonna do all these great crafts for the boxes and I never get around to it. And so I'm not gonna say I'm gonna make a sock monkey even though I really want to. I'm not gonna say it because it probably won't happen. But I love these bows too. She's so good at tying them so that they're cute. When I try to tie them, they don't look this cute. There's also a really cute yellow button and a yellow pocket. I love it. I love it. This will have to go in a monkey box because that's so cute. All right, let's do, oh my gosh, look at this dress. It's perfect with the little hat and the water bottle. It's Baby Shark, can you tell? Baby Shark, do, 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 do. Now that'll be stuck in our heads all day. I love the little pocket with a little bit of lace. All this, the sun is shining off all the snow and ice out there. I'm getting a big glare. So cute. Oh, and the yellow accents to go with the yellow hat and her water bottle. Man, it's like half a box. The box is already made. So cute and fun. Also, if we got, if you, I did, recently got a lot of those finger puppets from Walmart, those will go great with that dress. I'm so excited. See, what is this? Oh, frozen sunglasses. Oh my goodness. She's just putting together entire boxes this year. What a, what a blessing. So I'll put this over here with the frozen dress. What's that? Oh, Minnie Mouse. These are so cute with the little mini bow. And then the side has little Minnie Mouse on them too. So cute, adorable. And then a whole stack of really cute coloring books. I wanna see this, this came out like um, during quarantine, I think, and we never watched it, but it's like about a little um, jazz playing monkey, right? Like, is he a monkey? I don't know, I wanna see this, this cartoon. Oh, and some My Little Ponies. These are so great. And Baby Shark. Man, she really is putting a whole box together, baby shark. Let's see what's in here. These are really great coloring pages. I always like the Crayola brand coloring books. They're really high quality. This is so fun. Okay, ooh, focus. Mm, I'm gonna get a drink of water. Hopefully the sun, I see it kind of popping out a little bit. And I think some of the ice is starting to melt and we might be able to leave the house and go to like, get a grocery store and get food. We're running out. Oh my gosh, so cute. There's so much fun in here. <gasps> Look at this one. These are so pretty, such pretty, pretty colors. It's like a teal and a blue and a, it's, this looks brown. Oh, I guess that is brown. It's not brown on this side, um, but there's some, really cute colors in this pattern and I love it. So cute. These are great dresses. This one looks a little bigger. This one might be good for a um, 
five to nine year old. Got my, whatever this is called, tied up in the dress. Ooh, polka dots. Polka dots are so fun and cute. It's a, a brown background on very colorful polka dots. I like this one. This one is the first one that has like a stripe in the middle. So cute. And then this, these are little pom-poms. It's on the bottom too. Aren't they cute, the little pom-poms? So cute. Melody, you outdid yourself. Oh, and the ribbon has polka dots on it too. Can you see? So cute. I like that one. Oh, I like them all. Oh, this one is so cute. It has little fishies on it. This one is my favorite fish. She's going like this. So cute. I love it. Oh, and there's like turtles and geckos and little like wormy wormies. So cute. It says something on it. It says Rachel. That must be the um, the illustrator who made designed the fabric. Really cute. Maybe the girl who ends up getting this. Maybe her name will be Rachel. How fun would that be? Oh my! She put some ribbon dancers in here too. Look at these. Oh, they're so long. Okay, so can you see the colors? It's like a blue and a gold and pinks and like a coral and a teal, so fun. And then these are um, oval, they're oval shower curtains. That's so fun. So she had it twisted up like this, which is smart. I guess the uh, ribbons won't get all tangled up and then kind of balled up. Cute, cute, cute. There's another one with the same colors. Oh, two more with the same colors. And then one more with different colors. I'll show you that one. Oh, there's two of these as well. Two with these colors. These ones are more like primary colors. There's a red, orange, yellow, blue, green, and purple. It's like a, a rainbow. So fun. Okay, I'm making a, a ribbon disaster over here is what I'm doing. I'll have to clean that up as soon as I'm finished with this video. And then, oh, I must have opened it upside down because here's a card. I will read this um, off camera. So thank you for that, Melody. And two more dresses and a pair of socks. Some fun, colorful sockies to go in there. And the last two dresses, this is another baby shark one, but it's a little bit different pattern. So cute. So there's two, two baby shark girl boxes coming up. Look at that. This one has a lot of the lighter white fabric and then a solid blue stripe and then the big shark faces. So cute. And the pocket is that white as well. Thank you for this. And the very last thing in the box, oh, sparkly, pretty, pink, lacy butterflies. Oh, this is such a cute little dress. This will definitely be a two to four box. But if you can't tell, this lace is so sparkly and the fabric itself has sparkle in it. It's not picking up on camera, but it is so sparkly and pretty and perfect for like a princess butterfly box. I love these. These are always such a blessing and I'm so grateful to get them and to be able to put them in boxes to make little girls days. Um, and then that is all in that box and we do have this one last quite large box here. Let's see. I did bring my box opener over here. Usually I pre-open them, but I just didn't feel like it today. I just, it, I, I kind of have a little bit of a headache. So if I seem off or, or delayed reaction or in la-la land, it's just my headache. I have to think past the pain. You know, we've all been there. We have some air! <laughs> 
I love getting air in the mail. Okay, so it is from Amazon. I guess, yeah, duh, the box. Here are papers. I'm looking for one that has a name on it. <gasps> Izzy, you stop it. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's, she, I, I okay. <clears throat> I'm reading the little notes here. And then I will tell you what she said when I get to the item. So sweet. She sent some zipper pouches. And she said she, she hopes that I don't have to rely on um, Ziploc bags for our pencil bags this year. Oh, that's so sweet. Look at these. How colorful and beautiful they are. I always love these. Especially these mesh ones for... Um, Pencil packs, they, they are great quality and they're a little bit malleable. So if you have a real thick pencil pack, it's gonna hold it. Or if you just have a few things you wanted to put in there, you can fold it. Like these are perfect and they're really high quality. I like them better than anything you can get at Dollar Tree or Dollar General. And even better than the, um, the cheaper ones at Walmart. So if you're concerned about the quality of these or curious, they are great. I know you see everyone packing them and before I physically touched them, I was leery too, but these get a thumbs up from me. There are also ones that are um, solid plastic, not these mesh ones. And those are also good for pencil packs, but they also are good to double as like a little hygiene kit. So thank you so much for these, Izzy. That's so very, very sweet of you. I love it. Love, love, love those. Ooh. On that note, if I know that sometimes so many of you want to do a box and maybe um, you're just not physically capable to get out there and search for everything for boxes or maybe your budget has you um, where a full box is just not practical in your budget, this is a great thing that you can do. Um, is buy a pack of these. It's like $10, which is a lot. I, I understand that. And then maybe next month you could buy the pencils. And then maybe next month you could buy pencil sharpeners. And if that's all you can do and send these in as fillers, that's perfect because these are so, so needed at the processing center. So you could be a part of so many boxes with, with a very minimal amount of financial input, but a big big footprint to leave. Um, so just a little pro tip, or if um, you know, you're looking for something small to do, this would be my recommendation, is to buy a few pencil bags and a few packs of pencils and send them in as filler, and you will be impacting so many kids. Even if you can just do one, um, that will change the course of that one box. So anyway, rant over, pro tip over. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, these are the other bags I was telling you about, the ones that can be used. I love it, perfect. Izzy, you know my brain, you get me, girl. So these are the ones that can double either as um, hygiene kits or pencil packs. So if you can see the difference here, let me get a red one, so we're looking. This one is the mesh one and this one is the plastic one. Equal quality, I think that they're very comparable. They're pretty close to the same in price as well. Um, it just depends on how you like to pack and what you like to pack. These ones are real malleable and meshy, and these ones are more rigid and plastic. I think they will last the same amount of time, but these ones are great for pencil packs, and these ones are great for hygiene kits. Just in case you're wondering, those are the two that I was talking about. So, and the last thing in here, you know what this is, Izzy, you're, you have such a big heart. I love it. Um, oh, it's the soap. Oh my gosh. Yay. It's the soap to go into the hygiene kits for um, my packing party that's coming so soon. Because really, um, it'll be sometime in March. And we're already well into February, you know, because it's the second. But we will be gone for two of those weekends with my mom. Um, she gifted us a cruise for Christmas. So we're going with her this February. So there goes a week of packing and planning. And then before you know it, it's gonna be March. So 
I have to get on this. All right. I'm so excited to see what these are like. Oh, these are great. So these are just tiny little soaps. And um, my view on soap is slowly shifting, which is normal and healthy and natural in packing that your style of packing and what you pack changes from year to year. It's kind of about growth. It's kind of about just listening to your heart and listening to what is needed in the boxes, listening to um, OCC leadership, which I am not claiming to be that. Um, I'm not saying I'm a leader. I'm saying that there are things that the leaders are saying are more important and I'm trying to listen to them. And they're putting less and less emphasis on soap, but I still want to send some in case it is needed. You can make this last for a really long time. And also, if I send soap savers, I want to put soap in it so they at least know what it is for. The other reason why I am focusing a little less on soap um, is because Kayla Beretta, who's a missionary in South America, she's done missions both in the jungle and in the main city, it says that um, deodorant is harder to find and a little more expensive. And so if I am going to use that large space in a box, I'm thinking I might start putting um, a couple of sticks of deodorant a year. And so I'll be less focused on soap. But these are perfect and there are a ton here. It's so many, look at this, look at this box. So many soaps. So these will definitely go in my hygiene kits for my packing party. And she gave us the little bag. So I can't wait to pack these up and show you my little packs and get ready for our fun little family packing party coming up very soon in just a few weeks. And I'm not ready and I, I'm freaking out. <laughs> anyway, um, that is it for today, I think. Matt and I are about to venture off to the grocery store. So um, we do live out in the country a little bit, so it's gonna take us a while to get there. And we hope we've heard that the roads are safer today. So that's the plan. And um, thank you guys so much for all of these beautiful, amazing gifts. Some for regular boxes, some for the packing party, but all from you and all out of love. And again, just thank you so much for these gifts. And in case no one has told you, I love you lots. I hope you have a great day. Bye.